Stage by stage, the London County Council is turning Stepney, Poplar and Bow from a maze of 19th century slums and 20th century bomb sites into an East End its people can be proud to live in. First came the Lansbury Estate, and now the second instalment, the neighbourhood of St Anne's, is inaugurated by the Mayor of Stepney, Councillor Sambrook. During the next 10 years, St Anne's will replace streets like this, becoming a self-contained community for 2,200 people. More than half of these will be housed in the next two or three years. Their children will no longer have to play football among the rubbles of homes destroyed in Hitler's war. Nor will the nearest gutter be the only place for a quiet game of marbles. And when waters no longer fetch from the street, the fascist slogans will have even less appeal in an area which remembers scenes like this, not so long ago. A few places suffered as badly from bombing as London's East End, and none stood up to it more bravely. The war is over, but the aftermath remains. In crumbling tenements, people who deserve better of their country the struggle to live decent lives and bring up healthy families. Here's Mrs Cunningham at home in Loxley Street, Stepney, with her son and daughter. Nowhere to hang the eternal washing except indoors. Nowhere to feed the children except among the washing. The LCC, not to mention Mrs Cunningham and her neighbours, look to the day when homes like this will be a thing of the past. What couldn't she do with a flat like Mrs Groves? For thousands have been rehoused already under the LCC scheme, and Mrs Groves on the Lansbury estate is one of the lucky ones with her family in a home that's fit for Londoners. <laughs>